Vesna, the Slavic parallel to the Greek goddess Persephone, also known as Zivana, Ziva, Shiva, Deva, Deva, Devaka, or Danica, is the goddess of spring, youth, and life. Her existence is entwined with her diametrically opposite Marana, the goddess of winter and death. They are the forces that represent the change of seasons and keep the ancient Slavic world spinning in a cycle of death and rebirth. Vesna is quite possibly the most adored goddess among the Slavs due to her beauty and abundance. Her arrival signifies the ending of Marana's cold and savage rule, imperfect by starvation, disease, and death. Slavs, particularly southern Slavs, name their daughters after the goddess Vesna, believing that they will be just as generous and blissful as the goddess herself. Vesna is portrayed as a beautiful young lady, with a perfect smile, long hair and rosy cheeks, generally wearing a white dress beautified with wreaths and blossoms. There is an especially large wreath around her waist that represents fertility. It was believed that Vesna had the ability to re-establish well-being and normal equilibrium, which would bring about an amicable and fertile life. There are various prayers and ceremonies that are performed to bring the spring goddess and force the malicious winter out of the home, such as children playing with the pussy willow catkins and making bellflower wreaths. Eggs were painted red, representing the sun and the warmth brought by Vesna. Girls adorned with flower wreaths and leaves would sing songs to the goddess. And birds returning from their winter migrations were sometimes equated with Vesna's arrival on the wings of Stribug's wind. Vesna, with her everlasting youth and effervescence for life, makes the world sweet, youthful, innocent, and beautiful. While it's not wrong to call her the goddess of spring, the correct description is that she is the goddess of youth and rebirth. 